The Modi-led Indian regime has come up with more sinister plans to escalate state terrorism in every nook and corner of the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir to suppress the ongoing freedom movement. According to Kashmir Media Service, the brutal measures including round the clock cordon and search operations were approved during a joint meeting of Indian Army, Police and Paramilitary Central Police Force at District Police Office in Shupian. In the meeting, Dilbagh Singh directed the officers to fully implement the strategy in their respective areas, which analysts described as declaration of a full-fledged war against the civilian population of the territory. The analysts said the Kashmiri people are already being killed, injured, maimed and arrested, and their houses and their other belongings are being attacked and destroyed on a daily basis since the Modi regime repealed the special status of Jammu and Kashmir on August 5, 2019. Even today, the communal Modi government attacked the houses of one more Kashmiri youth in Katpura area of Shopian district to victimize him for his affiliation with the ongoing freedom movement. Indian police arrested father and three brothers of the youth identified as Adilwani. Meanwhile, in a disturbing development aimed at enabling Indian citizens temporarily residing in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir to vote in the so-called assembly elections, the territory's chief electoral officer Hridesh Kumar Singh today allowed them to get their names registered in the voters list. The move is clear violation of the UN acknowledged disputed status of the Jammu and Kashmir. On the other hand, six members of a Muslim family, including three women, were apparently killed by Hindutva gang in Sidra area of Jammu district. The incident created a sense of fear among local Muslim population as it took place a day after the Modi regime decided to expand the network of Indian army-backed dreaded village defense guards in Jammu region and the Kashmir Valley. The Indian authorities banned seven news portals in Ramban district for being critical of the Indian government policies in the territory. An order issued by the authorities warned that any person associated with the news portals would face strict punishment, including arrest under black laws.